In fact, um, well, let me back up even more. The military had actually wanted to get rid of Obama until they talked Trump into running. So then they had to make sure that all that fraud that the Democrats and the rhinos and the whatevers uh, usually do in an election did not happen in 2016. So then let's go to September 12, 2018, the ex- executive order 13848. And you can ask, how did Trump know to write those things to then put in an executive order and even refer to the election of 2020? Because he was fully briefed. He knew that there would be cheating in the midterms. And then he knew that 2020 was going to happen. And the smartest thing that, I don't know if he's ever said this verbatim, but you can't tell people things. You have to make them experience it. They have, you have to show them. And so whether it's just Trump's plan or part of the military that has been trying to get rid of the corruption for decades and decades, the fact is that it is an exceedingly smart plan with awareness. Now, I have been hoping that 2022, that we were going to have some exposure. I only found out after the fact that it was to find the low-hanging fruit. They already figured the high-hanging fruit, but they needed to see the low-hanging fruit of the corruption that was going on. Um, and so this was something that very much needs to go on. If, in fact, um, well, let me back up even more. The military had actually wanted to get rid of Obama until 